Okay, I just want to give you a quick little highlight on how to create a classroom data tab, right? So on your form response sheets, you add a sheet, click that button there, and then you know you title it classroom data by double clicking there and typing that in. You can name it whatever you want. So first we'll put uh, student names up in column A, and then in the following columns, you want to use the exact names from uh, the form response sheet uh, that can be selected. So when a little, little Johnny selects project idea, it's going to give him a little indicator here that, hey, Johnny has done this, but he hasn't done these things yet. Then all your student names will be here, and uh, you'll see who's turned in what. So, so to get all of our student names here, I'm going to type all the student names here, which is probably what you would do, but for our purposes today, since I have uh, students adding all the time to this sheet, I'll just uh, say equals unique equals unique um, unique what well any you know unique names in this list here so uh, in the column B I'll start at B2 because I don't need the header colon B so from B2 to all of B anytime a unique name pops up you know put it in this column so John Ike's only going to pop up once Bob's only going to pop up once Amy's only pop up once even if John Ike's on here 20 times uh, when we tell this column, hey, be unique, it's only going to show the unique names from that one. So there's our names, John Ike and Bob and Amy and anybody else who populates in that now will um, will also show up here. Okay, so now we just want to know if John Ike turned in project ideas. So we're going to tell this cell, uh, hey cell, go, go over there and look on the form and see if you find John Ike. And then count if John Ike filled out uh, the form and used the term project idea. So we go, hey, cell, you're going to equal count ifs. So it's, you're counting if more than one time. You're counting ifs. Hey, 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 cell, count if over here on this form in the name column, comma, you see this name in A2. This is cell A2. So hey, 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 hey cell, count ifs you see uh, over in that column this name. Okay, great. I'm going to hit comma again, start a new uh, thread here. So it's like, okay, if you did see John Ike over in that spreadsheet, did you also see in this column, column D, comma, did you see him type in the word project idea? Let me just put quote project idea. So what happens now is it goes and counts, you know, close parenthesis, it counts. Do I see the name in A2? And did they type in project idea? You hit return. And it goes, yeah, John Ike turned in a project idea. Well, now, since I did that, I can just drag this down. And it goes, did Bob turn one in? Yeah. Did Amy turn one in? No. So now I have a little data sheet that automatically. So what I'm telling you is I can drag this down for, you know, and every time a name pops over here, it's going to count. Did that person... Uh, turn one in, right? So you're going to be able to see right through your, your whole class right there. Let's just bring it over here. Same deal, right? Equals count ifs, open parenthesis, over in this sheet. Do you see this name, comma, in A2, comma? And did they put in column D, comma, share, whoops, I'll put in parentheses, quote, shared research notes quote parenthesis and there you go right and again just drag it down all right we'll see who did and who didn't clearly amy is falling behind for the rest of the class right um and then we'll do it over here and so on one cute trick i like to do is i mean i'm gonna drag this down because i don't know maybe i ended up with the 500 students today right? i'm gonna drag it down here uh right and i get all these zeros and i go Ugh, i hate those zeros so one of the things I'm going to do is once this sheet is all done, I'll fix that. Okay, so now that I have all the columns kind of filled out, you can see a bunch of zeros. You're like, oh, that's kind of not pretty to look at. So what I just do is I kind of just change the background color. All right, I, I highlight these, and I go to conditional formatting. Right, It's kind of cool. I go, hey, format, conditional formatting. And I say, hey, in, in this area over here, um, if the cell is greater than zero, then make the uh, text black, 
right? And if add another rule and say if the cell is less than one, then make the text white, right? And no, no, no background. And then what happens is hit done. We can see immediately that cells that have a value, you know, get colored in. And you can see Amy's got no value there. So let's go give Amy a little value real quick and see what happens. So we go, hey, Amy goes in to the form, chooses her name. Let's just jump ahead and say uh, she submits the project idea, submit. And automatically, you know, she gets an email that says, great job. But let's look at it. There's Amy. Now, these are all still really valued at zero. You just can't see them because uh, the, we've changed the format. So there you go. You're creating a data table using count ifs to tell you who's turned in what right there at a glance. Hope this helps.